Hello everyone, this is Phil from undercage.com. Today we're gonna to take a look at Xperia M that we have unboxed uh, before. This is the Xperia M, as I have mentioned in the previous unboxing, this isn't exactly the premium device. A, uh, this is a middle range phone that's got a four inch display over there with the WVGA resolution on the receiver, front facing camera with nothing on the bottom because uh, the, all the keys are built in as a soft key. On the right, there's a power key, volume rocker, and a camera shutter key. On the left, there's a micro USB port. On the back, there is a five megapixel camera with the LED flash, NFC over there, and a speaker. Uh, the power key, as is a, supposed to serve as an identity for the Xperia series, is over there, but it's uh, kind of too tall, kind of. Feels cheap, somehow. It's too tall. Can't really find any better word. There's a volume rocker. Volume rocker is not exactly a beautifully designed, but um, let's skip on that. I've, I've been putting too much effort on design lately. And the back has a soft feel kind of plastic. Doesn't feel exactly premium, nor it's not only not premium, but I, I it's, it's slightly cheaper than it's supposed to feel like. Anyway, that's Xperia, and I'm not expecting like a full premium feel like Xperia Z Ultra. And, and this one definitely has the identity of the Xperia M, uh, Xperia series, like the line over there or the power key over there, but um, it's not exactly in the level of the middle range quality that I've been expecting. Anyway, enough on the design. Oh, and I forgot to mention the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack over there, which is located in the center. I'm not expecting it to be on the bottom, which would be the best, but it's it's, it's going to be better if it's uh, located in the somewhere left or right, either left or right. But anyway, turning the phone on, uh, we have a lock screen over there. We can unlock that. Uh, nothing special, but the display isn't spectacular. It's not only not spectacular, it's not terrible, but it's, it's not good either. It's uh, the black level is a lot brighter than the other screens that I've seen. I'm not complaining on the screen resolution. Of course, the screen resolution is supposed to be lower than the premium devices, but compared even compared to the most of the other WVGA devices, this definitely isn't the best screen I've seen. The icons are not, the pixels are not clear. The color tune is terrible. Let's not say terrible. It's not the best, and um, it could have been a lot better. A lot better. The blacks could have been deeper, and the screen could have been crisper. Uh, uh, let's not complain on that for now. Uh, this, uh, it's got a classic Xperia user interface. It's not the latest one, but it does have the uh, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Performs smoothly. It's got a dual core Snapdragon S4 Pro. Uh, no, 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 S S4 Plus. Uh, along with a gigabyte of RAM, which is supposed to be more than enough for a WVGA screen phone. So it performs pretty well. It's fast, snappy. It's not spectacular, but it performs enough. And um, what you would expect from a Sony device, um, overall Sony device, not only the phone, is, is, I suppose, about three things. To have a great design and to have a great sound quality and to have a great camera. Uh, Xperia M, unfortunately, does not have any. Uh, design looks plain. I, you, you could basically raise the Sony logo over here and claim that this is from any other manufacturer in the world. Except for the power key over there, you will not notice that this is a Sony device. And so the sound quality isn't great. I plugged in my headphones and it doesn't sound any like Sony device. And the camera, it, it is great that it's got a dedicated shutter key over there, but the camera, the photo quality isn't the best. It does have many options over there, here and there. It's got a HDR, it's got a small shutter focus mode, quick launch. On the quick launch, you can actually set it to take a photo right after you slide the bar on the lock screen, like this. You lock the screen, press the power key over there, and there are two options, music and camera. You can slide the camera over there, and with the option set, it will take the photo right away. Uh, that's a great option, except for the fact that the photo it has taken has a terrible qual photo quality. Uh, I will upload some uh, sample photos over there. You can take a look for yourself. And um, so the verdict is, all right, this 
isn't a premium phone. This definitely isn't a premium phone, and this is a mid-range device with a decent, uh, decent performance. But considering its screen um, display quality and its design and its pretty much everything, I can't really suggest this over any other mid-range phone. Samsung's got a better device, LG's got a better device, and probably, no, actually, no, never mind. Samsung and LG has better device than this in the same price range. So um, without comparing this to any other phone in the market, this could be an okay phone for its price range, but hey, it's not the world like that. There are tons of different devices in the market within the price tag of about, how is this, this a slightly below 250 bucks. There, there are Optimus L7 II, Galaxy S3 Mini, is that? Anyway, lots of, lots of comparative devices there on the market. And Xperia M does not hold any of strength against the devices that is competing with, competing with. So Xperia M could have been a good device if there were no competitor in the market, but unfortunately there are a lot and there are lot of lots of devices that are better than Xperia M with the same price tag. So unless you're a hardcore Sony fan, there is pretty much no reason at all to get Xperia M over anything else. So that was my verdict and I'll see you guys in my next review that you guys will probably watch through my YouTube channel and the Facebook page. Yes, it means that you should visit them. And uh, I'll see you guys in next time. Till then, bye.